after two and a half days of uh, conference and after the, the very precise and excellent conclusions we just heard, it is now my privilege to say a few final words to close this conference. First of all, I would also like to once again thank the organizers, Southeast Europe Association and Aspen Institute, who have put relentless effort into its organization over the past weeks. Above all, I would also like to thank all of the participants, politicians, officials, experts, journalists, and young participants from the region. In these challenging days and with all the difficulties the digital format of such a conference presents, we are very happy about the excellent attendance of many, many participants, viewers and listeners throughout the entire conference. Let me, in summing up um, briefly, make a few observations. At the outset, Minister Maas confirmed for the German government that the place of the Western Balkans is in the heart of Europe. At the same time, he made it very clear that the necessity of reforms in the fields of rule of law and the fight against corruption is something we have to solve. The conference put young people at the center of the debate. What are their perspectives? How do they define the problems and what are their suggestions? The ministers from the region showed great openness to discuss with the young people and to take their views at heart. All six ministers promised to address deficits at the level of corruption, rule of law and red tape. We, and of course, above all the people in the region, will take them up on it. What became very clear is we do need more efforts with regard to reforms in those fields if we want to improve opportunities in the region. During the conference, many of our young people and panelists made very frank remarks. They feel that there is not enough progress. So ladies and gentlemen, dear participants, what have we learned? I will not be able to, to uh, say what all the items we have learned, but just a few takeaways. The speed of reform in the countries of the region needs to increase to really make a difference fast. We need to listen even more to the young people in the region. We have to look for ways to increase mobility and dialogue and improve education opportunities. The concept of circular migration is one we will have to explore further. Those who return are very valuable to their country's economy and society. At the political level, the Sofia summit of the Berlin process will be the next milestone on 10th of November. We hope that governments will achieve tangible results, especially concerning regional economic integration. At the same time, we welcome that negotiations continue in the EU-led normalization dialogue between Kosovo and Serbia. But this conference also showed countries of the Western Balkans have to overcome the shadows of the past in order to thrive and prosper and offer real opportunities to the young generation and, of course, not only to the young. It is high time for that. As uh, Genoveva Ruiz Calavera from the um, European Commission put it yesterday very clearly, migration should be a choice and not an obligation. This conference ends here, but a lot of work remains to be done. I'm looking forward to continuing our exchange with you, and we hope that follow-up events, in a physical format hopefully, will be possible in a not too far future. Thank you once again for your participation. Stay safe and healthy and goodbye from Berlin. <laughs>